Hello comic book guys and gals, and welcome to Comic Mag Musings. This guy's your host, Bill Miller. All right, we have a wonderful comic book haul for you today of Marvel 2-in-1. So we've got a couple of handfuls of issues. We got these in an auction not too far back. Uh, we don't collect Marvel 2-in-1, so I'll end up selling them. But before I did so, I wanted to share them with you because they are fun comic books. And they're all in, I'd say, mid to high grade. I, maybe they might all be in high grade, actually. But we'll see as we go along. Let's start with issue number 77. This is from 1981. Cover art and interior art by Ron Wilson. Number 76. Art by Jerry Bingham. Inking by Chick Stone. Number 74. Interior art by Frank Springer. Seventy three. Written by Ralph Macchio of both Karate Kid and Marvel fame. I'm sure he's never heard that before, right? Number 71. Written by Mark Gruenwald and Ralph Macchio. Maybe it's Macchio instead of Macchio. Ralph, if you're out there, let a brother know, would you? Issue number 63. This is from 1980. This one features cover art by George Bettis. Issue number 65. We're jumping all over the place, aren't we? This issue was starring Triton and Stingray. Along with the thing, of course. Issue number 66. This issue features cover art by George Perez. 
And I think that we'll take a quick look, a peek, if you will, inside. So let's get that darn tape off of there. That's a customer service announcement for those that use tape for their bags and boards. I always put the tape away and down where it cannot catch the cover. I've never had it a tape pull, but I know of them. And I've always done that. A lot of people just take and throw the tape away. Figure it's cheaper to do that, replace the tape, than replace the comic. All right. So again, yeah, nice high grade issue. On the back, we have an advertisement from Schwinn Bicycle Company. All right, let's take a look, see inside, shall we? We won't look at every page, just a representative sampling of pages. This one features The Thing and Scarlet Witch. Some of you may be saying, I've never even seen the interior of a Marvel two-on-one comic. Well, there you go. Now you have. And you're that much cooler for having done so. You may be saying, I'm on the fence about either reading or collecting Marvel two-on-one. Well, now at least you have some concept of what the interiors look like. Deadlier than Watergate. More shocking than Abscam. Now the houses of Congress are cocked in the clutches of the Serpent Crown Affair. Ooh, bubble yum. That was always good, right? The thing says, what a revolt in development this is. That's a really neat looking one, huh? All right, we'll do one more. All right, now we'll complete our sneak peek at Marvel 2-in-1, issue number 66. All right, two more. We have issue number 69. Interior art and cover art by Ron Wilson. Inks by Jean Day. And lastly, we have issue number 70. And this one is guest starring the Yancey Street Gang, the things nemesis group, I guess. And that will do it for the comic book haul of Marvel 2-in-1 that we have for today. I hope you enjoyed seeing those. And if you did, I would encourage you to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted as soon as I drop new videos.
thumbs up and comments are always appreciated. Remember, we're taking over the world one comic book at a time.